Twas the night before Easter. We were feeling quite sad. This virus is too much. It's making me mad. As I went into bed and I turned out the light, I wished for a dream that would make this feel right. I'm sure I was dreaming. My room was so dark. Then what did I hear? Was that song Baby Shark? The music got louder. <laughs> I started to smile. Are you little Mikey? Sure, I've been here a while. You can talk? Yes, I can. My mom teaches from home. The rest of this dream, I'll speak only in poem. And that's when I knew this dream was too good to be true. So who else is here? Would you happen to know? I'm not really sure, but I think that is Joe. I could see him quite clear. He was a tall, handsome lad. I said, Joe, is that you? No, it's not. It's me, Jed. I walked in walked Kira and Riley. This dream just got better. Riley had scary pictures all over her sweater. I hugged them so hard, was afraid they might pop. Then we walked down the hole. My jaw started to drop. Cause there in my dream, I'm not sure what this meant was the weirdest thing yet. In our house was a tent. Mikey yelped with delight. He had never seen this. We unzipped the door and then we saw Chris. Hey guys, how you doing? Come on in, my tent's clean. I'm gonna live here for the long quarantine. Having all of them here made my heart feel so proud. But someone is missing. Someone who is quite loud. At the back door, we heard it. A very strong knock. Juliana walked in. Would you like to tick tock? We played lots of games. Be Kira beat us, of course. Then some sneezing began. Choo, choo, choo. We all looked at the source. It was Grandpa. I woke up. What a great night I had. The giggles and laughing. Hey, I even saw Chad. But the baby can't talk. There's no tent in the room. Only Grandpa and me loving you while we Zoom. <laughs>